Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, April the 2nd, entitled, Start It. Now, we talked about the church this past Sunday, saying that it hurts more than it helps. And we discussed the fact that even in the most perfect family, husband and wives are not going to get along on everything. Even in the most perfect family, with the most perfect parents, their teenagers are still going to accuse them of being controlling and manipulative and ruining their life, and they'll be glad they're gone when they're 18. It doesn't matter where human beings are, there will be conflict. Now, the thing is, what are we going to do? In any situation, almost always, we come from a vantage point of, but the other person is more wrong than I am. But Scripture says it really doesn't matter. It says that those who are mature need to take the responsibility to initiate the opportunity. In fact, it says, don't even continue to worship if you know there's something out there. Let me read the passage. Matthew 5, 23 through 24 says, Therefore, if you are, a, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother or your sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. Go first and be reconciled to that person then come and offer your gift. Now, what he's saying there is, don't just keep being religious and ignore the fact that something isn't healthy. Now, again, we can't control what the other person is going to do. The most that we can do is provide the opportunity for that health or for that healing. If they're unwilling to respond, if they're not interested in having that conversation, we don't bully or force someone, but we initiate. We make it possible for that to happen. We open that door and look for other people to respond when they feel comfortable doing so. The thing is, I don't want to be in a position where I haven't made that first step. If I truly say that I love the Lord, if I truly want to be mature, if there is a problem, if there is a wound, if there is a hurt, I need to be willing to take the first step. So let's pray. Father, Lord, uh, Over and over, we find ourselves in situations where we feel like the other person has more wrong than us. And that may be the case, may not be. It may be our perception. But no matter what it is, you said that we need to provide an opportunity for healing to happen. And so, Father, I ask that you would give us the wisdom. Lord, uh, I love in this passage, it says they're getting ready to offer their gift. And remember, I believe you bring to our remembrance from time to time things that we need to Uh, address things that we need to make opportunity or inroad for there to be a healthy conversation. And Lord, we can't control the other person, uh, Lord, but we can create the opportunity. So Father, we ask that you would give us the maturity, the, uh, uh, the faithfulness to be able to create opportunities for healing, because in life we will constantly have those areas where difficult conversations need to be had. Lord, give us the maturity to make those opportunities healthy and available. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, consider being the first to reach out. I'll talk to you tomorrow.